Hi everyone. Now we will learn in Angular how we can define data type for API result. So in last part we used uh, any uh, wherever we are using the API result like in data as well as in the users property because we haven't defined the data type for this API function which is get users and the API result. So here we will define the data type for this function as well as for API result and for that we will use interface. Now you can have two questions. First one is what is data type? So now what is the data type? Data type means the data which we have. What is the type of that data? It could be an array, object or maybe string, numeric. It can be anything. So we have to define that like what is the type of this data and that's we call data type. All right. And now what is interface? See interface is a feature of TypeScript that allow us to define the structure or data type for data. And for that this is the syntax. First we have to put the interface keyword then interface name and the data type. All right. So this is very simple. And after that defining this data we will apply this data type with the help of interface on the result and at last we'll discuss some important interview question also. And this is the playlist for Angular 19 tutorial that will definitely help you out for Angular job, project and interviews. You can access this playlist from description box of this part. Now let's move to the uh, third point to define data type with the interface. Then let's move to the code and create one folder there inside the app uh, folder. Uh, you can keep any name to this folder maybe data type interface interfaces. So I would prefer it interfaces. And inside this I am keeping one file with the name of users users or user I guess user dot ts right. Okay so then uh, let's put their interface and then interface name let's say user why user why because see in api there can be multiple users then why we are putting their user only because that will be define a data type for one user and to define the multiple data uh, define the data type for multiple user we will use the array there all right so how we can use array with this you will get to know in moment but first let's define this now the question is what we have to define there so see uh, let me open the api so this is a structure of our API, the array outside that we will define and inside this we have an object. So you can copy this object even if you want you can type it also but I will just show you the simplest way then just simply paste it there right and you can remove the above braces better just remove anything and then paste it and now just use remove the quotes from the keys. Uh, yep from email also and last one is id all right now the name is a type of string so replace this uh, anil with the string then age with the number e uh, uh, email again with the string and id again with the string like this so this is the data type of our data now if you want to use it you have to uh, put the export also there all right and now let's go to the service file and there first we'll define the data type for this uh, API result there you can use these curly braces uh, angular braces and you can simply put their users and we know that there will be the data for multiple users so use their array now after this you have to define the data type for this function also so this will be observable right because uh, when we are handling the API data so this is a promise and observable are basically used to handle this promise right and inside this again use user with array now the data type is completed now come back to the app file and there also you can use users with the array same with the users property user and uh, again with the array or by default it could be an empty array also and now you will check result is perfectly fine there is no difference at all and here we learn that how we can define data type with the help of interface for api in interview question they can ask what is interface how we can define data type for uh, api these are the most important interview questions and please like this video share your feedback in comment section please subscribe my channel and this is my paytm and gpay donation number also thanks everyone